Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is Eternity of Pain uh, 4. It's the fourth stage of grief, depression, and we are fighting Nick Fury. Now, in this video, you're gonna see me do the full fight with Human Torch. I don't really know how to use Human Torch to the best of my abilities. Uh, you may also notice that I'm not running suicides. They designed this fight such that you really can't do it with suicide unless you want it to be very expensive. I don't like that. That pissed me off, okay? So, in any case, uh, that is the attitude I went in here with. Now, I am not showing you guys the other two runs that I did, but the first run was with Black Widow Clairvoyant. And I didn't have to turn off my suicides for her. And I did that one without using any uh, revives. The second run, I used, I believe, one revive, and it was with Angela. So I did it with the Black Widow Clairvoyant, Angela, and here you see with Human Torch. Now, there is an issue with Nick Fury. I don't know whether you can call it a bug or what have you, um, but some folks consider it cheating if you do this. But I'm gonna explain it to you because this bug works against us, but in this case could work for us. So say you're in Alliance War, and this has happened to me, and you're fighting, or you're fighting Nick Fury, or you're fighting against Nick Fury. And you're still in, like you see here, the life model decoy, his first life. And the game crashes on you. What will happen is your first life is gone, and you are immediately in the second life where he starts to DJ. So in Alliance War, that can help you out if you're fighting against Nick Fury and it crashes, you know, but if you try to do that in war, we all know what's going to happen because you're going to take a penalty. Here, if you do it, if I were to force quit the game right now, I basically could bypass his first life. It just makes it faster. Okay. Now... Doing that, uh, some consider that cheap. I'm not here to tell you what to think about that, um, but I felt that I should do at least one fight, a full fight, and show you guys the full fight. And let me tell you, even with um, when I was fighting with Angela, it was ugly because he kept firing his special one. I could not get him to stop doing it. Now, I watched KT1 and he gave me some information I didn't even know about tactical charges and I think when he's above 13, is it, or, or 15, uh, he won't fire his special uh, one. Like right here, he won't fire his special one. So that made things much easier, but you still gotta intercept him when he's unblockable to push him to that special two or just keep hitting into his block. And I was able to intercept him there. And so we're, we're doing okay. You know, he's getting, you know, he's getting beat up, but look at this. And I'm just like, come on, man. That was just so annoying. So I got another intercept. He's unblockable again. Now see, at this point, I'm like, okay, if I push him to a special one, What's gonna happen? You know, he's gonna fire that off. All right, so here I, I fired off my special two, got him to a special two. That was perfect, okay? Now I just need to bait it out, good, good. All right, so as far as I understood it, that's kind of what you have to do. Now I also had to change my mindset because I'm used to fighting with recoil. And then he just caught me there. Um, I'm used to fighting with a uh, recoil to deal with. And so I don't like to fire a lot of specials off. 
But of course, with my suicide masteries off, I can fire as many uh, specials as I want to. Uh, so I just had to kind of get used to that. Uh, but in any case, that is pretty much uh, the fight. Trying to get through this first life, and you're seeing me do it here. I could have done that with um, Angela, done that with uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant. It just is faster. So for me, using that issue, see how I avoid saying bug, uh, issue, uh, I would say all it does is speed things up. It's not like um, you're getting an overwhelming advantage over anyone or anything like that. Uh, not justifying it, mind you. Uh, but it is, on the scale of things, to me, one of those low levels, you know, where, okay, you're able to do the fight uh, a little faster. You can save a, a few of these free revives. Okay? <laughs> you know? You, you see how many revives I have, so I, I, I'm not really uh, too worried about that. But for me personally, I just hate long fights. And as soon as I saw Nick Fury, I was like, ah, oh, no. Because I'm like, man, I'm going to have to do... I'm going to have to chew through his life and everything. And for me, it, it wasn't fun. It was just boring and 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 just uh, hate that. So here you just see me doing this so that I can say, look, I did it. I did not use, you know, any issues that he had or anything like that. And look at this. Now, see, look, if I I don't remember where his tactical charges were, but he hit me with a special one and I thought he had like yeah, see, look, he's hitting me with special one. Now, I, I heard what KT1 said, but do you see how many tactical charges he has? But I still got hit with a special one. And he had a lot of tactical charges. So I hit him with that special one of mine to push him to a special two. So I don't know. I don't know what was going on there. Is it, you know, just a little bit of RNG? So here we go. And, and, and finally. We are through the first one. So now this second one, of course, is much easier because all you got to do is let that D-Gen do its work. Um, he's going to do it slowly because he's probably high SIG, probably SIG 200. Uh, that's what the SIG level does, by the way. This phase right here, this D-Gen, it's going to go slow. So when you have, um, like in Battlegrounds, um, Nick Fury with SIG 200, which a lot of people don't do, uh, it makes the fight go longer. So he's a better defender, even, when he has high sync. All right, so here we go again. Boom, 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 boom. Dead. I mean, nothing I can do. I can't evade that. And if it's unblockable, I just got to eat it and, and take it again. You know, so, yeah, I, I, I wasn't a big fan of this fight in the first place. Um... But I am glad that I, I did it uh, with Human Torch here. I'm glad I had a Human Torch uh, ranked up to do it. All right. So, you know, it, it just seems to me that Human Torch, I mean, he's not fighting a um, a mystic, you know. So it's not he's not going to get him down really, really fast. And every time he gets a bleed on him, that, you know, lowers his temperature and all that good stuff. So basically, it's set up to just make the fight take long. <laughs> That's it. And here we go with unblockable again. But I think uh, he, he his unblockable went out, so I was able to actually block. But I now have um, Disorients on me. And you can see he's not um, using any energy. As long as I have a debuff, that's why we had to turn off our... Uh, ouchie masteries as long as you have any debuff on you he doesn't use any power to fire off his uh special attack Woo! and he caught me right there intercepted me i was like man come on this last bit of health i'm like 
Are you kidding me? Is this last bit of health going to take as long as the whole first? Because, of course, he's doing crazy damage. You get hit by him, it's pretty much over with for you. And I'm just like, come on. You know, I'm, I'm, I have a little bit more time than I did the um, first week. But still. You know, it, it's really annoying. Look at this, even into my block, because uh, the, the disorients and I, oh my goodness. All right, so here, I tried to push him a little bit. W what can I do? He just, he just clocked me. And I'm just like, all right, we're whittling him down. Like I said, I, I'm not worried about the revives and I felt like this was sort of penance. Okay, this was this was my penance. So I was not going to worry about it. Let's just keep going. Furious, furious. So am I. <laughs> Actually, at this point, I'm just sort of resigned. I'm just like, whatever. Just go. You know, got to do a lot of uh, uh, intercepts here. There we go. Got that intercept really nicely. And I'm just trying to get as much damage done to try to get this thing over with, you know? I don't want to take any blocked hits. If I can help it, here we go. Got another one in. Fired off another one. Come on, come on, burn him. Oh, got that sneaky intercept at the end, and we got him down, finally. So that's going to do it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Uh, that should be all of the um, objectives done. There we go. Boom. And I believe I show the... Yep, there we go. All of them done. All right, so take care. And you all have a blessed day.